Welcome back to Northwest Wild and Free, everybody. It is great to have you here. And in this video, we're going to be doing some late season black tail deer hunting with a bow. We've just located a buck. Dylan's my cameraman. Let's see if we can make something good happen out of this. Oh man. Man. That was close. That was close. Man. Yeah, it's cool. We gotta see another buck. Yeah. I thought about shooting when he was right over there. Probably could have, but. Like when he was broadside? Oh, uh, yeah, he was broadside when we were over here. Where I was standing, you could have slipped an arrow in. Yeah, I, I wanted a good clean shot. Yeah. That's awesome. I, that's, at least that's hey. like that. I mean, we got like, I don't know, maybe 15? Yeah, 15 yards. We slip right in on this buck. Yeah. I just love hunting these blacktail. This is my first time ever hunting blacktail late season with a bow. So. Yeah. I thought it was going to happen. Yeah. He, and he wasn't interested in the grunting. No. I, I wanted to see his reaction. Yeah. Every time he just kind of looked Did up. he saw you draw back or something? When I just drew back? I think so. Yeah. I wasn't sure how far he was. I didn't want to be just sitting there. I saw him coming. Holding. I saw his head and I'm like, oh, he's coming. Yeah, then I, I think you see me draw. Uh, That's okay. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's been a good day. Yep. It's been a good morning. Let's go find another buck to uh, this time shoot. Yeah. We'll be back with some more deer or something good. All right. Okay, we just spotted one. He's huge. He's probably about, I don't know, 35 yards. Call flower mushroom. <laughs> Sorry, I got your hopes up. Call flower. Get a closer look at it. It's a big one. Okay. That's real. I say he's a little past the expiration date. Yeah, I think it's a little too far gone. Yeah, it's all moldy. Hey, it might be seed for another one though, for next year. Yeah. I don't know if it'll grow back, but we're gonna leave it. It's just too far gone. Yeah, it's moldy. That's yeah. cool though. You don't see them too often, but especially that big. Yeah, okay. they get bigger though. Yeah, we'll find a buck, right? Yep. <laughs> I haven't been at it long. I've seen a few tracks. Dylan was with me, but he had a few errands to run, so I lost my cameraman. But I do have my bow cams, which uh, can still capture the action. So this is my little GoPro setup I have here. I got one in the front looking out towards the target, and then I got another one looking at the back towards me. So. Let's go find a buck and uh, put one on the ground. We almost did it yesterday. We just gotta keep at it. So, we'll be back. Where? Let's see if we can loop around on him. 
hard sneaking in here. This buck should be over here. He was just a fork and horn. But hey, he's a legal buck. I'll shoot him if I get the opportunity. They just got these deer tunnels and spots in here. see it's just walls of brush in places oh man went into there I don't I don't want to run him around in here anymore I think we'll leave him and uh, maybe come back here tomorrow and hunt it but for now I think we're just gonna go hit a different spot anyway it's cool we had an encounter we still got quite a bit of daylight this evening we just gotta keep at it and we're out here that's the main thing yeah, so we'll be back with uh, maybe a big buck in front of us. So, we'll be back. Update for you guys. So it's been probably about, I don't know, 30 minutes since I jumped that buck or seen that buck. And it started raining, which is nice. <laughs> but I've seen some really fresh beds up here, and there's a lot more sign in here as well. There's definitely some deer around. I would say the rain makes it better for sneaking right up on a deer. I like that but it makes it harder to film. I'll try keeping my lenses clean for you guys so I don't have no dirty footage. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple more buck rubs in here as well. There's one right there on that scotch broom. So yeah, so what I've been doing is I've just been sneaking through these spots that look really good. I've been having even an arrow knocked just in case. So if I see one, boom, boom, turn on my cameras and shoot him. I think I'm gonna mosey Well. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go over here. There's a road. I'm going to cross it. I'm just going to keep going into another patch. It's kind of the similar age as this. So. Anyhow, we're going to uh, go find a buck. So I'll be back. Deer was close. Just standing over there. I'm not kidding you, that was only about 10 feet away. It's crazy. He goes off that way. Huh, cute little little deer. Another encounter in the woods, but no legal bucks. Just gotta keep at it. That's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something kind of cool. It's a really nice buck rub right here on a willow tree. It's kind of neat how he uh see where this buck he scraped the tree but then he also uh, just tore up the ground right here all around it's kind of neat but that's a good sign it's probably a decent buck I would say maybe probably a little bit more than just a little fork and horn so it's a good sign we're seeing this I've seen a fair amount of deer sign in here keep looking see if we can uh, find a deer find a buck I should say pretty good track right there and then that one's pretty fresh. He's just walking down this trail right here. Looks like a small buck up here. See how there's three deer, a spike, a yearling fawn, and then a doe. I haven't seen any legal bucks yet. There's, man, if that was a buck, man, I could definitely be flinging arrows at it. He's just standing there looking. Yeah. Well, it's been it's been cool. I got to see some deer this evening. Most of them, if they would have been a buck, legal buck, I could have flung an arrow at them. Goodbye, deer. I'll leave you guys to your munchies. We'll do a little bit more grunting and then move on. me a bit okay well we're going to uh, move on out of here there's no bucks we're gonna probably wrap this up in the studio now so I'll be back
Well, deer season was tough for me. I had a lot of opportunities and close calls, but couldn't quite seal the deal. But here's a buck that I passed up during early season, just a little spike by four. I was like, man, should I shoot him or pass him up? I decided to let him go and hunt late season, and I didn't get anything. So I had a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to hunting blacktail next year. And next week's video is going to be a really good one, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and throw a comment down below. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.